Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Marriage Affairs with Pastor X. I hope you you guys have been good. And um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying also the material that we, we have for you here on this platform. And thank you so much to all those who have given us, uh, you know, their feedback and they will let us know how you know they they feel what they learn from the material that that we put out there okay so today i'm talking about tluf tluf <laughs> yeah when tluf tluf is bad all right for those who don't know what tluf tluf is tluf tluf is sex so make sure that uh before you even go further there's a button here at the bottom that is written subscribe. Subscribe is a word that starts with an S, something that is like a snake. And you click that, it doesn't cost you anything. You'll be able to get um, most of the notifications when we add new material. Okay. And also the other thing, I'm sure some of you have seen my latest book, The Solo Journey. That is for people that are single how to single now i've defined it there in the book um the audio book it's, it's somebody who doesn't have someone and somebody who is not married but i define it properly there and you'll be able to get all the nitty gritties of it you can order the book by sending us a whatsapp and we'll send you the book or any other books that we have and also you can subscribe on our Friday uh, WhatsApp podcast, you know, English almost left me, WhatsApp podcast, where you get different topics unpacked. And I've done, I think, uh, so much now to make sure that I also get other people with other expertise to be able to, you know, to help us navigate this relationship and marriage journey together. Okay, now let's talk tluf tluf. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about when tluf tluf is bad. All right? Now, the truth of the matter is days are not the same. There are days where you'll just like, poof, you hit it. You know, you'll just be that hero. You, you know what? You can be the talk of your partner's internal organs, internal system. They're just saying with yer this man or this woman was on point okay now the other thing as we talk about this we need to realize that uh sex is not the responsibility of one person and i normally say you need to take charge you need to take charge of your fulfillment and your happiness as far as truth is concerned okay because you can't sit there lie like you are in mortuary and then the next thing you you blame your partner the other thing you need to educate each other on how to please each other you know you need to be able to direct me and say no okay let's change but also you need to read my mind and i know that is it can be a tricky thing because your mind is on a different zone and you can't be schooling somebody and but if you don't do that it means that your pleasure will suffer and you'll always be uh, grumpy before and after and you'll end up resenting you know sex and the truth of the matter you might even be tempted easily now to step out of the boundaries and confinements of the relationship or the marriage okay so bad sex is not the end of the day all right it's it's definitely not the end of the day the next the nice thing about it is you can always you know go for a rematch you can always apply for you know a rematch and one thing that i know and that i like for um the the rematch is the fact that when you come again for the second time come again no pun intended um it's easy now because you've picked up some of your weaknesses, some of the mistakes that you've made, and uh, you can be able to correct those. I call them fair pieterings, you know, corrections, and you get that chance. Now, there's this myth that uh, bad sex 
it's only for for people you know it's an accident that happens for people who are engaging in sex for the first time that is not the truth sometimes you could be happily married been married for years and um just one day out of nowhere just not a good day and you just have a bad sex you know one of the things about bad sex is that sex after it happens is like one is left thinking okay is it over the other one is left standing there and like okay what what, what happened <laughs> you know if you believe in ancestors you start calling them it's like uh, how can you leave me at the most crucial time of my my sex career <laughs> if there is anything like that you know what but whether we like it or not the truth is bad sex is very embarrassing you know i've had very interesting excuses reasons why the kluf kluf was bad and why the kluf kluf was you know two minute noodles everything just that was not bad about i mean was not good about it and you ask the couples or you ask an individual and you get very interesting i'm wondering as you're listening to this what uh, your experience is of that one or the other in your lifetime even if you are a lucky person you've got a partner who's got it on point but there will be that one day because there are a lot of things that influence and you know talk to the whole issue of uh, you being able to be there to be present and engaging all right you need to get my book um, the sexless sexful um, relationship and how to revive the bedroom spark okay so it's, it's something that is very embarrassing and um, as embarrassing as it is because it's somebody that you are in a relationship with. So here, the, my context is for people that are in a relationship, married, okay? So when that happens, well, if La Jola, it's a one-night stand, unfortunately, I can't help you on that one. You are on your own, boss, all right? So when now you, you have this rematch that I spoke about, the nice thing is that you can be able now to exceedingly abundantly you know satisfy your partner so when you are excited unfortunately it could be because you haven't had sex in a long time your partner was on their period where they were on their periods or you are traveling and you came back and all that so excitement sometimes can just take the spark and just drops you you know, at a point where you least expecting and you're thinking, what happened? Or sometimes you're just probably having that bad moment where you're just sitting and you, you're pushing on a, on a run flat. <laughs> pushing on a run flat, hoping for the gods to be with you and things just don't work out, you know, for you. So when that happens, you, you have now couple of options in order for you to redeem yourself and that's the gist of what i'm addressing here how to redeem yourself after you've had an embarrassing or a bad proof proof all right remember sometimes as an experienced driver there will be times especially if you're driving a manual where there is heavy traffic and the car will just stall without even knowing maybe we're not paying attention and then it stalls in the middle of the highway, heavy traffic, and people that are impatient, they start, you know, hooting and all those things. Once in a while, you know, uh, you, you would find yourself in that situation where you're thinking, hmm, how did I, how did I manage to, to get it so wrong? How did I manage to mess it up? Um, so it's, it's just one of those things. It does happen. You know, it happens in all aspects of life, no matter how good you are. You know, with the work that I do, there are days where, like, in the tabele, like during a session and I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, Lord, did I really take these clients here? It, it, it happens to all of us. So don't look at it as something that is strange and unique you are not that special unfortunately it happens to all of us 
at some point or the other. So a lot can result to this. So think of sex as one of those things that can just go wrong at any point. Think about it as, you know, one of those things that, just like at school, there would be exams that just don't balance well. You know, exam that you write and you're thinking, yo, but I'm good at this. How did I get it wrong? So the first thing that you need to do, you need to talk about it. Don't leave it to speculation. You need to talk about it. And in talking about it, you need to agree, both of you, that it was work. All right? It was bad. Because sometimes you might find that if you don't talk about it, one is assuming that, yo, I messed up, only to find out the other one. You know, they, they got to Mauritius. They, they, they just got what they wanted. And when you're sitting there beating yourself, bashing yourself, um, and, you know, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't help you in any way. It just doesn't help you um, even in making sure that when the time for corrections, for bitterings come, and then you are not in a good space to, to do that because you've bashed yourself. So you need to talk about it, and you need to agree that it was bad. You need to talk about why it was bad. So you know how to fix. Because if you don't address the why part, you won't be able to fix to fix it. So was it bad because you were tired? Was it bad because you were angry? Was it bad because you were doing it out of doing a favor? It was like clock card, you know. You, you just want to count the day that, you know what, I've, I've lashed out today. Why was it wrong according to you? And then let's get also your partner. And remember, there are two of you, there's two of you in this truf truf business, all right? So you can't now point fingers because the question will be, what did you do? When? And I know sometimes if it's bad because the man came earlier, jumped off the plane um, without you knowing that there is even a parachute in the car, in the plane, and he jumped off. Those are things that you need to be able to, to address. So you need to know why. And then some of the things that can make it to be so bad, obvious, will be issues like stress. It will be issues of alcohol intake, especially if you take a lot of alcohol. It can affect how you perform and the quality of that performance itself. So those things, they, they are the main culprits of getting you into trouble where you deliver bad sex. And remember, every time you are having a truth truth with your partner, take it that you are a service provider. It's not about you. It's about you rendering a service of pleasing your partner. And if both of you can have the same mentality, and then it's going to help you a big deal in terms of working on your, on your, on, 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 on your, on your bedroom issues and ultimately on your marriage. Okay, get your partner's definition of pet sex. You need to understand so that even in future, because you might have failed on this one now, but you need to understand that definition, what scope does it encapsulate, you know? So we need to agree and say, to me, bed is when I don't come. Or to me, bed is when you don't make noise. Or to me, bed is when i'm dry or to me bad is what is bad to you let's define it out of the conversation that we'll have now that we have agreed that hey i can but it's something that you must laugh about you know because you've got all your lives together to redeem yourselves so you sit down and like ah right baby ah mm -mm. uh, that one you know i ah, you know and then Appropriate language in addressing these things is very important. Appropriate language like, I feel this was not good. For me, this was not, you know, satisfactory. So you need to use the right language that will make sure that your partner receives well of your concerns and dissatisfaction. 
not language of you didn't do this why you always do because now what you are doing is you are shifting the blame and remember what i said there's two of you in this and you are partners your partners meaning that every one of you has got a responsibility and a duty to make sure that truth truth is on point okay so the language that you use in addressing it make sure that is a appropriate language take a note of how your partner responds to your issue because how they respond will determine if they were doing it intentionally on purpose or they don't even care their response will tell you if they care about your sex life if they bothered or if they even intend to do anything about it and that will guide you and give you a clearer direction be clear about you know what even orgasm is for you and be clear of how you supposed to be initiating sex to get started that way is going to help you to make sure that when now you address these things and you're making sure that in whatever that you guys are doing you you keep that communication there you keep that communication open so that both of you can take responsibility and full responsibility of your sex life this is one of those not so comfortable conversations but they are very necessary especially now when it, they are not comfortable while things are okay for most people now you can imagine when things are not okay how how bad can that conversation be in terms of how it can end up a conversation that was supposed to go to east it can easily go to west without you even knowing or being aware that it has gone to the west okay but in all that remember that you deserve a loving respectful and understanding response from a loving and caring partner so it can't be just a matter of <clears throat> you know what it happened it happened it's something that we need to be able to say then what do we do about it so that it doesn't grow to becoming a habit it doesn't grow to becoming something that now all of a sudden we don't even know how best to address it we don't even know how we can be able to salvage that situation that we found ourselves in all right so when that now has happened make sure that you sit down but the emotions needs to be out of the picture while you still surprised while you still disappointed while you still you know amazed at how dare oh my god did that just happen remember the emotions must be down so that you eliminate the defensiveness and something that needs to be addressed turning into war and make sure that you only talk about that incident you don't bring about others when you bring about others let it be a positive reference of saying baby are you okay for me this was not up to standard uh of of session and i've noticed that last week are you okay is everything okay at work is everything so let it be you addressing the issues but also showing that you love your partner showing that you care about your partner Okay, I can talk on and on and on about this one. I'm going to leave it at that. Let it sink. And if you need more information and more, you know, a bit of pointers on the matter, make sure that you get my book, uh The Sexless or Sexful Relationship. You can get that by ordering via WhatsApp on 0833331750. God bless you and all the best with your kufkuf. Kuf.